Example analysis of best communication between PCS and EMS. How does the energy management system, EMS, of the energy storage system communicate with EnjoyPower's power conversion system, PCS, to monitor the PCS operational status and issue control commands? EnjoyPower's PCS employs RS-485, based Modbus communication, with a default baud rate of 9600, a parameter that can be modified within the registers. Additionally, the Modbus address is set using DIP switches. Through communication protocols, the EMS can query various information from the PCS, configure its operating mode and status, control charging and discharging power, set related parameters, and retrieve all RM information. The PCS communication protocol supports standard 03 read commands. For example, to read the set time from the PCS with Modbus address 1, you would read 6 bytes starting from register address 0x1020. After receiving the command, the PCS replies with information containing the byte length and values. Furthermore, the PCS communication protocol also supports standard 06 write commands. For instance, writing 1 to the register address at 0x0291 means issuing a startup command to the PCS. After the PCS is successfully executed, the same information will be returned, indicating that the execution has been completed. Similarly, we provide several other sample commands, including reading grid fault information, sending shutdown commands, reset commands, and commands to solidify parameters. It should be noted that reset and store parameter commands must be executed when the PCS is in a shutdown state. After introducing the communication commands between the PCS and EMS, we then explain several other common settings. The most common application of the energy storage system is in grid-connected scenarios. In this case, the PCS should be set to PQ mode, configured as a current source, and selected as 3P3W or 3P4W based on the configuration of the AC side. These parameters need to be set in the shutdown state. After completion, execute store parameter commands. In PCS grid-connected mode, the discharge power of each phase can be controlled individually, or the total charge and discharge power can also be set. EnjoyPower's PCS can also be applied in off-grid VF mode to provide backup power for important loads. In this scenario, the PCS should be set to VF mode, and 3P3W or 3P4W selected based on the AC side configuration. These parameters need to be set in the shutdown state. After completion, execute store parameter commands. In PCS off-grid mode, voltage and frequency provided by the PCS need to be set. Finally, the PCS communication protocol provides extensive alarm information, including hardware faults, AC, DC faults, and other faults. Please note that some faults can only be reset after the PCS is powered off, some other faults can automatically reset once restored, and some other faults require the PCS to be in a shutdown state before receiving a reset command from the EMS or upper-level controller. With the communication protocol, EMS can effortlessly monitor the operational status of the PCS and issue control commands. If any issues arise during system integration, please feel free to contact EnjoyPower's engineers, and we will provide prompt assistance.